TCS. Welcome to our Wednesday show. My name is Kao Bang, and here are the weekly announcements for Wednesday, May 1st, 2024. First of all, the upcoming events. TCS will be hosting the talent show on May 30. Students will be able to show off their amazing talent, such as singing, dancing, and many more. Next, we have AP exam. Coming up at the beginning of May, Study hard and get yourself ready for a long week. Lastly, we will be having a graduation day during June 7th and prom during June 8th. Make sure to get your dress and suits ready for an amazing event. First up, moving on to our weekly weather report on the week of April 29th. As for the weather this week, we're looking at some serious heat. The hottest day of the week will be on Wednesday. We're looking at around 40 degrees and other days will be around 37 to 38 degrees. Make sure to drink lots of water and stay hydrated. SAP exams are coming close. Grace will be interviewing students and teachers about their preparations. AP exam, full name, Advanced Placement Exam, which is college level exam on specific subjects. At many colleges and universities, a high enough score will earn the student's college credit. I'm teaching AP Physics 1 and AP Pre-Calculus. Okay. How challenging is it to teach AP classes? Yeah, it's a, a bit challenging compared to some other regular courses because with AP courses, they are externally examined, so you always try to prepare your students to meet the standards of the of college. Level. Do you teach like different ways than teaching regular class than AP class? Basically, it is the same, not much difference, but there's a little bit difference because when I'm teaching AP courses, uh, my main emphasis will be to prepare my students for the external examination. Yeah, with other regular classes, yes, I prepare them for the examination, but uh, not as much as I prepare for the AP classes, which are externally examined. Okay. Thank you. Here we are with Mr. Seth. Uh, we are here with Ms. Jasmine. Uh, Ms. Jasmine, what AP did you, are you teaching? Uh, this year I'm teaching AP Lit. Um, how challenging is it to teach um, AP class? Um, I would 
would say that all classes are challenging to teach, but AP is challenging in a different way because there's a lot of material that we have to cover and sometimes we lose days and so it's very difficult to make sure that my students are well prepared for the exam, but I also have to be supportive of them because they're very nervous and very stressed and sometimes they just need a chance to relax and come back to themselves. It's hard to balance those two needs. Uh, is, is your like teaching style different from teaching regular class and AP classes? I don't know about my teaching style, but I definitely know that the workload is different. So I know that I have to push my AP students and I require them to do more work both in and out of class than my non-AP students just because of how much we have to cover before the exam. Okay, thank you. Next up, on April 25th, taking place at the 360 Hall. There's a performance including the string assemble, collaborating with the chorus, hosted by Ms. Lee Cho and Ms. White. Tina will be reporting at the 360 for the show. Hi, my name is Tina. Behind me here is the 360 Hall, where a string orchestra cast and chorus will be performing. songs and different levels. And which piece it takes the most time to make paper plates? I think pump and circumstance. Grade 7 is the first piece because grade 7 actually uh, they lost a lot of time during uh, during the break like uh, Christmas break also so gun break and they just came back so that like, we have to start over again and for grade 7 they are really beginners, so it was a challenge for them. Okay. Uh, what session did you play during the performance? I was uh, singing for the chorus team. Uh, how long have you been practicing for a performance? We practiced all our songs for about two months, I think. Around two months. Some of them even less than two months. Um, what piece did you like? Uh, for me, I think the one I enjoyed the most was uh, Rainbow Connection, which is the one that had the Kermit doll, because I found that we only practiced that for like a month or so, or even less than a month, and then we actually delivered it perfectly fine, well, in our eyes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So the first question is, how long have you been practicing for the performance today? Um, I only had like two rehearsals with Dr. Lee Cho and the rest of the orchestra. So yeah, just this week. And why did you choose this song to play? Um, I didn't choose it actually. So Dr. Lee Cho chose it with the orchestra and she was talking with Lillian, like one of the students who sang. Um, and they decided to have like singing behind the orchestra. Um, and so they invited me and Ms. White to join. Uh, from the experience last time, would you want to sing again? Sure, if, if people invited me, but I think that it's important that like we're making sure that we have students at like the forefront of everything, but if they like wanted me to participate in something, I would. I just don't want to be the center of attention because I feel like that's not the point of the concerts. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, thanks. This is Tina recording from This Is Sign out. Wow, the kids are so energetic. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Before we go, we'll be interviewing the seniors who are graduating about how they feel and their future career. Hello, and I'm here with Wood. Okay, so how many years have you been in CCS? Eight. Eight years? Since what? What grade? Grade three. 
Three, how do you feel as you will be leaving for university? Uh, excited, uh, nervous, and fear. Uh, like, do you feel sad? Mm, yes. Do you like miss your friends? Or yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, from these many young CCS, what are your like memorable moments? I, I play soccer. <laughs> Hi, and I'm here with you. Okay, nice to meet you. And how many years have you been in CCIS? Like around 14 years. Ooh. Since what grade? Since like pre-K, pre-K-3. Oh, so you're here for like a long, long time already. Yeah, like OG. Okay. <laughs> so how do you feel you're leaving CCIS for university now? You know, it's a big step in life. I've been here for my basically my whole life, so. Yeah. From these many years in CCS, what is your memorable moment? The most memorable moment is the friends I made along the way, man. Yeah. The friends I made along the way. And like, like I get to hang out with them and stuff. Do you miss them a lot? Yeah, for sure. Once I leave for university, I'll miss them. You know, like, Will you keep in contact with them? Or? Yeah, definitely. We'll like a few of them. And if you could say something about all your senior friends, what would it be? Good luck in the future, like to everybody. That yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, how do you feel about this year seniors leaving? Hmm. Oh, because you guys are very cute. Many people I remember very well. 上课的时候都很快乐，然后我们一起做一些事情也很好玩。然后尤尤其是 COVID 的时候，你们在线上，有的时候上课的时候都会聊聊聊天，然后互互相跟对方讲答案，然后还听到。那有的人呢，就是上课还睡觉，起不来，还要打电话就叫他起来，然后就觉得很有趣。这些事情都记得很清清楚。对。Do you have something to say to this senior year? 哦、oh, ，就是就是，虽然说你们现在很多人都不在 TCS， 但是我常常就想到你们，你们带给我非常多的快乐。对啊，希望你们未来一切都很好。OK， 谢谢老师。Uh, hello， and I'm here with Kuang。สวัสดีครับ。สวัสดีครับ。สวัสดีครับ。So， ผมก็อยากรู้ครับว่าครูอยู่ที่นี่มากี่ปีแล้วของแม่ระบุชัดเจนแต่อยู่มากกว่าสิบปีค่ะลูก มีความคิดเห็นยังไงเกี่ยวกับมหกรุ่นนี้บ้างครับพี่ก็มหกรุ่นนี้เหรออืมประชากรน้อยมากแล้วก็ต้องคิดถึงแน่ๆต้องคิ
Uh, it's just nice to see these kids grow up and graduate and uh, become the people they are right now. Uh, they're wonderful. And uh, what do you want to say to this senior class? Uh, I want to say I'm proud of you guys. You guys are going to be fantastic people in this world. Um, I just can't wait to see you guys continue to grow, uh, continue to learn, and continue to have fun. That's what the best part about this class was. You guys had fun a lot, um, and that's what I hope you guys can continue to do. Okay. This is Kapang reporting for WTV, signing off, and good luck to all the seniors. I wish all the best of luck to all the seniors that will be graduating and moving on to the future. This will be our group last episode for WTV this year. This is for our weekly announcement for May 1st. I am Kapang reporting from WTV, signing off. Thank you.